Hi guys and welcome to the Even Knows Office YouTube channel. So in this video I wanted to talk about five printables or digital products that you can create inside of your Etsy shop in 2024. I think that there's a lot of audience there for it and um, it's a product that's highly sought after and particularly at the beginning of 2024 but I think a lot of these ones will continue on throughout the year. So without me kind of doing a long introduction I thought we'd just dive straight into them. The first type of printable is going to be the organization productivity printable, particularly at the beginning of the year. It's always usually a mad rush around things like planners, journals, diaries, organizers, like productivity workbooks to help people get organized with their fresh start of a new year. I think that it is a great time if you have an Etsy shop already and you have the type of audience that would be interested in this to really get stocked up on those 2024 productivity planners, calendars, all of those things. If you are a printable seller and particularly on Etsy, and you have a type of audience that would be interested in it the one thing i don't recommend which i always say is that if you have an audience for example let's say you're selling nursery decor or something like that it's not the time to suddenly whip in a 2024 planner into your business so always make sure that the audience that you have inside of your existing etsy shop if you already have one are aligned obviously to the products that you want to bring in but a lot of people are going to be looking for those productivity workbooks those organization you know list building products and all of those amazing printables that you can add into your business i personally have a shop that i have just set up i have an existing etsy shop already but i just set up a new one which I'm really focusing this year on my planners, my workbooks, all of those amazing things more focused around business because that's what I teach and what I love. I've already seen sales and I haven't even finished setting up yet. I've already seen sales coming in and I'm definitely seeing that build up um, around the new year. And I think it's because everybody's like, new year 2024 i'm gonna take action on you know the things that i want to work on my business getting organized in my life making my to-do list all of that stuff so yeah if you have the ability to do that in your etsy shop i highly recommend adding in those printables the next one is one that I talked about in another video. I don't know if I've released that video yet, but if I haven't, it's definitely coming out. And this type of printable or digital product is based around weddings. Weddings are a huge printable niche. Not until I actually went into printables in myself with business that I realized how big the wedding industry is on printables. Lots of people are looking for cost-effective and quick ways to get things done in the, in the upcoming run-up to their wedding. A lot of the time people are purchasing things like printable invitation templates that they can just literally download change the names of things and send them out to people really quickly or get them printed out really quickly also things like printable wedding decorations printable signs printable games all the things around a wedding lots of the time people reach for the printable version of or the digital version of to just get it done etsy is a huge place that people go to to search for things for their wedding so wedding printables are a great option to add into an etsy shop because there's already an audience that come onto etsy to search for things for their wedding and printables just because is becoming more and more popular for people just grabbing them downloading them and being able to use them as quick as possible. The next one is one that I absolutely love. It's near and dear to my heart, and this is art printables. So as I mentioned in another video where I talk about 10 profitable printables that I think across, you know, not just on Etsy, but on all platforms are gonna at least stay as strong as they are in 2024. I created that video. I talk about art printables because art printables are an amazing way of taking your creativity, your design, your uniqueness, and turning it into a product that you can then sell to other people. What I talk about in that other video, again, I can't remember, I don't know for which one I'm releasing first, so I would just kind of give a bit of a sum up in here as well. What I talk about in that video is I think the way that art printables and some other printables as well are being sold in terms of what is attracting people to those products is changing. And I think for a long time, 
time with art printables it was very much a product that you could just list onto platforms like etsy and you could just get people coming in and if they like that design they just purchase that design i now feel like there is a slight shift in the way that people are choosing what art printables to add into their homes and i think one of those ways is that people are kind of looking for more brands that they can connect with you know for example an artist that they particularly like or it might be a person in the way that they design for example if we're looking at a typography shop so a art printable shop that sells mainly quotes and text based products then you can get a lot of those on etsy but i think what people are finding more is they're finding a brand that they really like who do it in a particular style and then they're buying multiples of that product instead of what we've kind of more traditionally had on etsy where people just go on etsy scroll find something they like and purchase it which i do think is still happening but i definitely feel like and i've talked about this for a long time on my youtube channel i've talked about this um, inside of my art printables on etsy course that teaches people how to set up an art printable business on etsy i've talked about the importance of focusing on building your business even if you're on the etsy platform creating your audience driving in external traffic there's so many reasons to do that besides just building a brand so many reasons for safety and for the longevity of your business but i definitely feel like i'm still seeing that shift that people want to be connected to the person that they're purchasing their art printables from they want to feel like they understand why that person's created that design they want to see new drops come into a store new collections come in and feel connected to it so that is definitely a shift that I'm seeing in the art printable niche. The next one are self-development based printables. I again have talked about this in the other one but I think particularly on the Etsy platform this is a huge one that is just building and building through the people that I am working with right now, the people that have teach, taught me how to create and sell my printables and just the shift that I'm seeing constantly being on printable based platforms particularly Etsy. I'm definitely seeing more and more themes and names and kind of um, styles of self-development planners that people are going for now with a lot more of a self-development edge so things like mood trackers workbooks to help you get clarity and um, to help you with mindfulness that are more focused around you living a happy content life rather than just like a generic planner or a generic workbook i think having that edge of that self-development it's just becoming more and more popular on etsy so if you're someone that you're thinking yeah i that's exactly what i'm into and i want to create printables and digital products around an element of self-development even in including hobbies for example like things that people do recreationally whether it's food whether it's sewing whether it's yoga whether it's mindfulness meditation learning how to journal whatever it is there is so many more of that coming up on etsy and i think it's because so many more people are finding and realizing now that they can go on to etsy and purchase those products i think for so long people thought of etsy as just like physical handmade products but now the shift that Etsy have been making to make printable products more inclusive and the rules that they've added in and all of the amazing things that they've done, I think that it means now that more people are being encouraged to go to Etsy to find printable based products, not just physical ones. So definitely the self-development journals and workbooks and planners, I think is becoming more and more popular. And the final type of printable that I think is just, again, becoming really popular on Etsy. And I think it's a really cool platform to use alongside, I always recommend this, alongside your own independent platform, alongside having your own external traffic. Business-related printables is becoming more and more popular on the Etsy platform. More people are realizing that they can go to Etsy and they can find other business owners who are creating amazing resources to help them get over problems in their business, to help them set up a business and I think again it's one of those things that it's been a shift on Etsy that more people have started creating those products so now you're getting more people who realize that they're for sale on Etsy and then you're getting an audience building up of people who are using Etsy now to find printable resources a lot of the time it can be things like printable planners to help you with your business to help you with your social media templates to help you with your business and social media workbooks that walk you through everything I have a 
mini course um, which I sell on my in my brand new Etsy shop um, and it's doing really quite well actually because I also sell it outside of Etsy, Etsy on its own independent platform but I have it where basically it's a workbook but then I've also included links to videos that I've created exclusively for that workbook inside of the workbook so it's basically more like a mini course than it is just an individual workbook but I think again it's a really great way to create a business tool that someone can just literally download they can upload it to good notes notability or they can actually download it and print it out if they want to and then they can watch those videos to help them work through that workbook and solve a problem in their business and I think that more and more people are learning that there are these resources available on Etsy workbooks planners um, worksheets things calendars all of it and um, that you can just literally go and in the click of a button download so I think definitely business related resources is just one of those things that's just going to keep growing on the Etsy platform and I think more people are going to realize that they're there and available and I always want to say I love Etsy I think Etsy is an amazing platform it has been an amazing powerhouse for me I, I, I absolutely love it but I always I'm, I'm one of those business owners where I always want to say I always recommend yes using market-based pla market based platforms but I always recommend also having your own external traffic building your own things like your email list your own platforms alongside that area of your business your Etsy store because it's so important that if anything ever happened to your Etsy shop or for example if you just decide to come off of Etsy or you know for whatever reason Etsy's traffic reduces or something that happens in your Etsy shop that you haven't spent years building up an Etsy shop only to lose everything. We want to make sure whilst we're building on Etsy and while we're making amazing sales that we're creating also you know our own business we can also use Etsy to help that as well to create our own business so that if anything did ever happen to our Etsy store we still have our audience we still have our customers we still have everything there and the reason why I always want to like finish my videos off if you watch my other videos I, I very often talk about the importance of external traffic and building your own brand your own business even when you're using Etsy it's because something I've seen which I just never want to happen to someone who watches my videos or anything like that I've seen so many people build amazing brands on Etsy build amazing businesses make thousands and thousands and thousands of sales on Etsy and one day something happens and they lose it all and then I've had conversations with people who are just absolutely distraught because they've spent years building a really beautiful fledged business but because they put it onto a platform that isn't their own and they didn't spend any time building their external traffic growing their email list growing their engagement then they have nothing at the end of it and that's not even Etsy's fault because you know if someone accidentally breaks the rules or if something happens where they can't continue to work with that person anymore that happens. It's our responsibility as business owners, I personally think, and small business owners, to do the best that we can. And none of us are perfect, I'm definitely not perfect, but to do the best that we can to protect our business and to give ourselves like as much range in our brand and our business as possible. So I wanted to just finish this video off by saying that, by saying that all of these, I hope I've done that. One, two, three. I hope I've done them all. I'm really sorry if there's not five here. This is this is me coming back to YouTube. It's just a mess. I'm sorry. But yeah, I just wanted to include that into this video, the discussion on the importance of not just relying on Etsy. Not because I don't think Etsy's amazing. It's been a powerhouse in my business. It's I'm so grateful that I've made sales on Etsy, that I've made income on Etsy. But just because I never want anyone to build a business that hasn't got longevity, just because at any moment something could pull the plug and you don't have any control over that. Focus when you're building your Etsy shop, even in a printable business, focus on also building your brand, getting yourself known, building your social media, building things like your email list. All of these things I do teach inside of my Printables Profits membership, but I, I am actually not saying that to encourage you to purchase it, because if you don't purchase my membership, the biggest thing I just want you to take away is if you're gonna use a marketplace platform, any marketplace platform, always make sure you're building your brand 
on the back end of that as well definitely give this video a thumbs up um, if you are enjoying these videos and i'm sorry again that i've been away from youtube for a while and i will see you in the next one and i'm just gonna hopefully get back into the swing of creating videos to support you with building your printable business because i know it can get a bit confusing and frustrating and all of that good stuff to build a business. But a printable business is so amazing when you actually start to see results and you see income come in and sales come in. So I hope that helps guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.